Witam serdecznie. Stało się tak, że na moich dyskach jest wciąż bardzo dużo materiałów, wideo z koncertów, które odbyły się w mózgu lub w Warszawie, w miejscach, w których organizujemy wydarzenia. I myślę, że jest to czas najwyższy, aby z Państwem się tymi materiałami podzielić, aby je po prostu upublicznić. Chciałbym to zrobić w taki sposób, aby było to dla Państwa jak najciekawsze. W związku z tym pomyślałem sobie, że spróbuję zrobić rozmowy ze wszystkimi muzykami, których koncerty będę prezentował. Oczywiście w tej chwili będą to rozmowy na Skype'ie, ale jest tych materiałów na tyle dużo, że myślę, że z niektórymi artystami spotkam się niebawem i będziemy mogli porozmawiać przy stole. Cel tych prezentacji jest jeden, przybliżanie idei improwizacji jako najwyższej formy kompozycji, propagowanie improwizacji w muzyce w celu wykształcania w nas samych otwartego podejścia do różnych sytuacji, które w życiu nam się przytrafiają. Oczywiście zdaję sobie sprawę, że wiele osób, które być może będą oglądać te moje produkcje, na samo słowo improwizacja już się obruszają. Jest to idea, aby, aby odżegnywać się od improwizacji. Tak samo jak improwizacja jest pewną ideą. Dla mnie jest to bardzo ważne, w związku z tym z Będę się z Państwem tym dzielił i mam nadzieję, że zainteresuje tych, dla których ta forma wykonywania muzyki jest interesująca. Być może któryś z tych programów zainteresuje jakieś nowe osoby, które jeszcze nie wiedzą, że może ich to zainteresować. Zaczniemy od koncertów z cyklu Super Sam. Plus One, który od 2016 roku mózg organizuje w Warszawie. Koncerty Super Sam Plus One dla tych, którzy jakimś cudem do tej pory nie mm, słyszeli o nich. Idea tego jest taka, że zapraszamy na każdy wieczór koncertowy dwójkę muzyków. Jed, jeden muzyk jest z zagranicy, jeden jest z Polski. Muzycy wykonują koncerty solowe a w trzeciej części wieczoru on dochodzi do spotkania w duecie. Jedną z zasad jest to, że muzycy wcześniej nie spotkali się na scenie. Już z samych koncertów z cyklu Super Sam Plus One mamy prawdopodobnie około setki. Część z tych koncertów już była oczywiście publikowana, ale większość jeszcze nie, więc zaczniemy od tych, które publikowane nie były, także wszystkie na, na najbliższe Programy, które będę starał się robić w miarę regularnie, na ekranie pojawią się po raz pierwszy. Zaczniemy od koncertu szwedzkiej kontrabasistki Niny de Heney. Nina zagrała 18 listopada 2018 roku w sklepie płytowym. To unikalny koncert, ponieważ wszystkie nasze inne Wydarzenia dzieją się bądź to w klubie Dzik, bądź z Patti, a wcześniej jeszcze w filii mózgowej w Teatrze Powszechnym. Tym razem płyty gramofonowe, bo tak nazywa się sklep, na Ząbkowskiej w Warszawie. Nina wystąpiła obok Marka Pospieszalskiego, którym najprawdopodobniej zajmiemy się w następnym odcinku. Zanim zaproszę Państwa na pierwszy koncert i pierwszą rozmowę, chciałem powiedzieć, iż na platformie Patronite uruchomiliśmy zbiórkę, która poświęcona jest właśnie temu projektowi Mózg on Screen, dzięki któremu zobaczą Państwo w najbliższych miesiącach kilkadziesiąt koncertów i kilkadziesiąt rozmów z ciekawymi e, muzykami. Celem jest też wspieranie mózgu, który w dzisiejszych w dzisiejszym czasie naprawdę tego wsparcia potrzebuje. Zapraszam do wpłat. Tutaj podajemy link. Aktywny link znajdą Państwo w tekście. Powyżej na wpłacających czekają prezenty. Również w tekście znajduje się link do koncertu Niny. A teraz zapraszam już Państwa na rozmowę z Niną de Heney, a następnie na jej koncert solowy. Dziękuję za uwagę.
Nina. We played this concert in Warsaw in 2019 uh, as a part of Super Sun Plus One project, which um, we'll present after this uh, interview. You played solo and you played with uh, um, Marek Pospisalski. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to ask you, what was your way to this type of music? Do you, do you feel yourself, do you recognize yourself as a person who plays um, only the improvised music at the moment or, or your spectrum is much wider? And how did you get to this point? Okay. Uh, I mean, since for the, for the past um, 20 years, I've, I've uh, f f focused on... Um, on just playing improvised music because um, earlier on I was playing um, within modern jazz con contexts and uh, even um, classical. I, uh, I, I studied uh, cla the classical te technique at the conservatory and um, but uh, about 25 years ago I started working as a solo musician with a dancer who improvised. And uh, more and more I was experimenting the spectrums of sounds I could make on, on the bass and uh, leaving more and more just the, you know, the, the idiomatic uh, music language of, of jazz. And I, I felt it was, um, I never felt comfortable actually playing jazz because I, all classical, because I always felt that fitting into a special um, way, you know, that you could play right and wrong. And but I, I was more in, more interested in a in a much more um, ex expanded uh, spectrum of the instrument. And, and I, I definitely also was very tired of the of the role of the bass in, in traditional music with um, you know solo players. So I think what also what I thought was very liberating was was to uh, it, within the, the context of um, improvised uh, groups where there was no hierarchy, you know, where everybody was soloist and everybody was, um, I mean, where and this was like a, a, a discovery for for me that I didn't have to be stuck into a, a box, you know. So this was, I think, the, my main motive for um, for moving, you know, and saying bye bye to jazz and uh, classical, and and wanting to um, more and more develop something which was me within a context that uh, enabled me to uh, play as a soloist, as a as a accompanying, and and, and you know and. And being in the present moment was also the very big uh, <laughs> discovery that th there is no right or wrong. Is that you 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 are there or you're not there, which is a totally different issue, you know, because you can uh, within other mu music uh, contexts you can uh, in your head and your heart you can be someone else and still playing your part, and it's correct, but you're not there. So I think this is the, my main motive because I'm in, interested in, in the now and the, 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 the music is, is, is not just something that's correct, you know, I'm, I'm just not, not just the, the, the technique, but you have to be all in. So you're there or you're not there basically, yeah, so. So working with the dancer, and this was the platform where I really became, I think, a soloist, working with uh, Anna Vesper. So, um, and then I met um, musicians with whom I developed um, within the duos and, and trios. So I've, I've been working a long time with a Swedish piano player called Lisa Olian. as a duo. And then I, I also did uh, several solo rec recordings earlier on, and um, and I've, I've been working in uh, in trio with um, a pianist called Karin Johansson and a drummer called Henrik Wartel. Called the group is called Quagmire. And then I, the duo 
the bass duo with you is a very nice project, of course. Thank you. When I was in Sweden a few years ago, and I met uh, a few of your friends, female um, musician, they asked me why in my festivals, which I organize in Poland, it's not, not uh, so many improvising women, um, mm. especially from Poland. I didn't think about it before, but that this comment made me think made me think why exactly is like that and because when I'm choosing people to play in my festivals I always just um, I don't I don't I don't think this way like if somebody's woman or man I just trying to find the best and most interesting okay. artists but when I start to think about this I, I find out that, that really it's not many improvising women in Poland and um, if they are usually they are singers and of course you know starting this discussion around why is that what is the yeah. reason and uh, I don't know if Sweden uh, had this problem when I moved to Sweden it was uh, 1985 and um, they, the, there weren't many uh, women uh, jazz players or Im, 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 improvisers, you know, that then. I mean, like um, on the in international scene, there was, there was like uh, Irene Schweitzer, uh, Joël Leandre, uh, and um, it was instrumentalists, you know. And, and, um, but um, through the years, I think, there has been big, been more and more in slowly, you know, in, in instrumentalists um, coming. But you know, in Switzerland, uh, I now there's a, there's a number of uh, women improvisers in in Switzerland too. But uh, in Switzerland, women have only been able to vote since 1971, so so which is 50 years ago. So I mean, you know, that you you can't uh, separate the the cultural background is what is the position of um, women artists in general in the respective country and in Sweden I, I, I guess the music education has uh, promoted um, uh, women instrumentalists not only within classical music but uh, I myself had no um, uh, what do you call them, role models. I only saw men playing on stages and uh, I was of course, um, until I got established, I, I was, uh, it, was, it was always um, questioning how, how can you play, can you really play the bass and you know like even from um, musician colleagues, not only from the taxi drivers, you know, because uh, taxi drivers, they ask, uh, is this, is, do you play this one? <laughs> or is it your boyfriend who plays it? You know, like, I still get that kind of question, although I'm 59 soon. So um, I would be a very nice girlfriend if I went around with my boyfriend's bass. But, uh, to, I, I mean, talking about the they, they, they have really come uh, a, a, a newer generation of uh, women improvisers, I think, who are 30, 40 now, in, in Scandinavian countries at, at least, which I know of. And, um, and then I, I have co contact with uh, women improvisers who are within my generation in Europe, we, we sort of have, there's no network, but we, we know of each other and we've met each other in, in festivals. And so since we are still not so many, you know, but um, I think for younger women that, I mean, in, it's, uh, it's not as difficult a choice maybe to become an improviser that because it's not so strange as it was when I um, was 20, 25, then it was very strange and I was the only woman, woman playing bass. Um. Yeah, but you're talking about, about um, 
social reasons or maybe even political political reasons. Yeah. But <clears throat> um, I'm also interested for what can be another reason, because look, um, in some different parts of art, like for example, visual art, visual mm -hmm. art uh, is a lot of women. OK, yeah. So I'm That's thinking true. also if my uh, also is a thing like as I said, the vocalist is a lot woman as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So there are maybe different uh, reasons or circumstances why girls or women don't play drum set or, or, or double bass. You know, maybe there's something else. Maybe you need to be very special and what is this special what makes you p play bass for example right you know i i, I think f first is that you i think you you have to be be um a very stubborn kind of person mm -hmm. to to want to be on a stage playing uh, an instrument which is uh physically demanding and and you and to uh, take you know to um to um, feel comfortable to be on stage in a non-traditional way, you know, because uh, when girls grow up, they they see singers, you know, female singers, and it's 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 a tradition to, to be a, a a vocalist within a pop, a jazz, a classical. I mean, you know, it, it's a there's a long tra tradition of women using yeah. their, their voices as an instrument, but there's not a long tradition of women using the double bass or the drums. There's not a 2000 year tradition of that, you know. And uh, I mean, I think you should go way back to, to really think, think about uh, the tradition of the voice, the mm -hmm. tradition of the bass, and, you know, and the tradition of, um, if you're a woman on a stage, you can uh, expand your, um, your personality, but, uh, because it's within the tradition that you can be a big soloist like uh, Maria Callas and, uh, you know, these uh, strong, charismatic personalities with a voice have been able to be women in different cu cultures, you know, not, not only in uh, Western cultures, but um, for the double bass and especially within, uh, in general, I mean, non-commercial music in general is is also um unfortunately it, it's a stage where the, the 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 fans of this music are are often very devoted um, men mm -hmm. who, who who love collecting records and and you know and organized concerts but there's there's not many um women who are who have record companies who are really um nerds you know and um so far and uh, also i mean there has to be also women curators organizing festivals and um so i'm active uh, sometimes in in a music association too and you know and so it's like at all levels it's the organizers have to be become also women not only devoted men at, and, and so it, it's a it's it's a long uh, process it's a world where we where we share emotional experience and uh, and we can give emotional experience from a different background so i think it's it's a richer world if we if we have musicians of both um, genders i think that's my the the deeper Mm. Side. Of, I mean, it's not a political thing, but I think as a, as an ex existential, like why were there only one gender being able to vote? Well, sure. it's important that we have a world which is representing both genders, and uh, it's important within music and arts that there's uh, different people expressing different experiences of what it is to be a human. A human being which is the um, why we have art it's mm. recognizing and asking questions about what is it to to be a human being and uh, how do we deal with with pain and uh, suffering suffering and, and joy and how how do we communicate i myself have never actually 
until I was a really grown up, until I, I never really um, wanted to spend time thinking, I am a woman playing this. I just thought, and I, I mean, my main concern is that I, I identify myself as a musician, not as a woman musician.